All right, Kevin, thank you. Continuing our COVID-19 coverage this morning, as the kids go back to school, the FDA is taking some new action to protect children from the surging Omicron variant. And we know there's a lot to understand here. So joining us to break it all down is Dr. Todd Ellerin, Director of Infectious Disease at South Shore Hospital and South Shore Health. Dr. Ellerin making an early morning house call. <laughs> Welcome in. Hey, let's first start with the boosters. The FDA is now clearing the way for kids as young as 12 to get those additional shots. The CDC expected to follow suit soon. How important is this action right now? Uh, good morning, Doug. So this is really important. Why? Because we know the boosters work to decrease the risk of infection. It does it in adults and it does it in kids. And the bottom line is if we can reduce infection, we're going to reduce transmission, and we know how important that is. And especially for vulnerable children, immunocompromised children, it also will decrease the risk of hospitalizations and deaths. So as parents, we want to always protect our kids. This is the best way to do it, and I'm sure the CDC will green light it this week. The FDA also shortened the amount of time between the second dose and the booster to five months instead of the current six. This, of course, is for the Pfizer vaccine. So what was the reasoning behind that decision? So, Antoinette, we're really following Israel's model. They've been actually boosting kids 12 and older since August. So a lot of experience, millions of kids have been boosted, and they're doing five months instead of six. And I think, let's face it, the faster we can get these boosters in, the better, whether that's for adults or whether that's for children. So it's very good news. And this was an interesting point. The FDA also adding a third dose, not a booster, for kids ages 5 to 11 who are immunocompromised. Uh, this is a very specific group, but do you think we'll see this expanded? Absolutely, because remember, the immunocompromised patients aren't necessarily responding as well with one or two doses as those of us who have a normal immune system. So I think in this case, more is better. So a third dose, 28 days, at least 28 days after the second dose, will ultimately be recommended for those kids five and older. Jesus Christ. Don't forget the children. Don't forget the children.